Hey, what's up guys, I'm Vincent. Today, I'm going to show you the basics of the front pin shot. Alright, here we go. So, what is the front pin shot? Basically, it is a shot that you set up your ball under the 3 bar in its front pin position. Now, you are going to use the open hand shooting technique to execute the shot. If you are not sure what is the open hand shooting technique, make sure you check out my other video on the top right corner now. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the basic options of this shot and share some practice tips so that you know how to improve your shot. Before we start, if you are new in here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell below so that you don't miss out an episode. First of all, let's set up the ball in the front pin position. Now you are going to place the ball right at the center in front of the goal. Same as the snake shot, you want to be able to do the pull size, the straight and the push size. Now let's talk about the straight option first. Just like what you have learned in my previous video where you could bring this guy behind and do the palm roll. And that's the straight option. However, there is actually an easiest way to do the straight, which is the flip. That's the flip. Now, this is a shot where it is very similar to the snake shot, where you have to make sure this guy do not spin over 360 degree angles, otherwise it is considered as a spin and it is not an legal shot. And it is same for the flip. You do not want to spin the rod without catching the handle. When you are doing the flip, you want to make sure that you are catching the handle right after the flip. And when you are doing the flip, you want to make sure that the hand stay close to the handle. You do not want any big motion like this. You want to keep the motion as small as you can. And now let's talk about the pull side and the push side. And you are going to use the three steps process to practice your shot. First, you want to use an extra ball and push the ball right at the pull side. Now, what you want to do is you front pin the ball in this position. Now, you want to practice the palm roll without pulling this ball, but you want to strike the ball in this position. This is what you want to do. You put this guy in the front pin position. Now you do the palm roll and make the shot. It doesn't matter if your speed is slow because you want to make sure that you are hitting the correct striking point so that the ball is traveling straight without spraying to the wall or cutting back to the goal. And this is why it is very important with this practice. You want to practice the striking point of the ball. And for the second step, you want to take this ball away. Now, you want to do what you have done before. However, you want to pull this ball to this position. Now, you want to pull it low and do the palm roll. And make sure that you are hitting the correct striking point. The reason why you want to practice with this speed is because you want to make sure that the ball and the guy is always traveling at the same speed. So let's say the ball is traveling too slow and the guy is traveling too fast. It is most likely you are going to cut the ball to the goal. On the other hand, if the ball is traveling too fast, before the guy comes to this position, now you are going to spray the ball to the wall. So this is why you want to do it slow and make sure that the motion of the guy 
and the ball are traveling at the same speed before striking the ball. And the last step of this practice is going to be the actual shot. So what you want to do is you want to rock the ball as well before you do the shot. So you are trying to mimic the actual shot in the match. And this is how you are going to practice. And you want to do the same for the push side. Remember, remember the three steps practicing method. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you again next time.